Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this one. This is going to be a really cool killer tip. I hope you guys are going to like it. I think you will. These rubber rigging beads. Okay, they're cheap. You get them on Amazon. And you can do lots of really cool stuff with these. I'll start with the plastics. Uh, if you look down here at my uh, like BKDs, how I have them rigged up. You know, I want that point sticking out just about, about that much. I'm not going weedless, so I don't need to bury the hook down inside here. And I want it to stick out exactly that amount. So add a bead right there. And you can control how much of the hook sticks out, how much is buried. And you could, I mean, they're really on there stiff. If you want, you put one on either side and really keep this thing cemented in. They really grab on really firm too. You have to cut them off when you're done. Uh, See, so yeah, that's what I want. I want that point sticking out. And if I just, you know, hooked it like that with no bead, after a few casts, it will just slide all the way down to the point. I mean, the curve of the hook kind of forces it down that way. So a little bead right there, I control exactly how much or how little of the hook point is exposed. Now, if you look at these, uh, here's an example on one of these uh, ghillie baits, little swim bait. Now, the, the trick to these is to get the hook positioned so this bait swims upright. If you have too much metal, the steel off to one side, you see it out here, only on one side, it's going to lay on its side when you're, when you're retrieving it. Now, if you add one of those beads here, you can dial in exactly how much hook point you want sticking out, how much weight on either side of the bait is, and you can really fine tune your baits that way. Uh, another really cool, cool tip. Any of your plastics, guys, put down in the comments if you use these before and uh, have any good ideas or tips or tricks uh live bait put one on your hook on your on your hooks right here so if i went with a hook that say did not have one of those and i'm going to hook my shad my herring whatever and i go up through the lips okay and i'm pulling along maybe on a slack line pulling planers or floats and this fish can just swim everywhere look nice and natural it's only a matter of time, you know, guys, before that sucker slides up the shank and gets hooked back into itself. You have a screaming fish running, melting the drag, and he pops off. And you bring in and you see this. Man, there are a few things more sickening than that as a fisherman. It's just, oh man, that one that got away and just because of the darn hook turned back into it. So you threw these beads on here. Only takes one. It's the one I use the smallest one. And this way, when I go up through the lips, I can stop it wherever I want. I can control exactly where that bait sits on the hook. You can put one on either side if you like. I normally don't. Uh, I just use the one. But, you know, experiment. Mess around. See what's, what works best for you. Again, put it in the comments if you have good ideas for these. Uh, or better ideas. Uh, now, they have these little... Uh, bait button things I used to use that are okay for that you can get them from Bass Pro Shops there's a little dispenser you can see what they look like on the hook there just a little rubber disc I'll see if I can grab a second one okay and okay see so there's two on there and it's the same thing same process you know it kind of slides up and down uh, the dispenser is pretty cool I think it comes with like 50 uh, buttons in there bait buttons and you can buy refills but these are a little light duty uh, you know they, they do break off and and fail quite often for these rubber beads here man i mean once they're on there they are they're on there really good and they're cheap they're on amazon and i'll put a link down there if you guys want to order some and if you do get them let me know how it's helped you or what you like about it any changes you've done any ideas i'm always trying to learn and i like to share but i like to learn too so if you have something cool that does uh, the job these do in any way please put it in the comments get a conversation going and thank you guys for the support youtube is a little tough these days of course and you guys with your awesome comments and watching the videos all the way through for me and liking and all that has really been appreciated guys i notice it and uh it really makes me feel good when i uh when i see that and we're all one big striper family that's why i call everyone brother right we're all in the same boat or sister not many sisters but there are a few and uh so that's it i'll put the link in the amazon uh the amazon link for these in the uh description there and please stay safe on the water guys leave a few for me 
And as always, I love you. Mean it.